is a band called Officer, and the song is called My Darling Defibrillator. Take this. There's a river inside you of truth, and you know it. But you would die before you'd ever go and show that to me. Or any of the others suffering A little bit like a paradise lost where you can go When you've broken it To sanctify all the willing nights Under him And you claim to be as solid as the rock Is that why you never talk? Oh Lord, is this all we've got? Cause this is not what we wanted And it's been troubling you It's been bubbling up in you I find my head and my head Find my heart beat I find my head and my head Find my heart beat I find my head Burns a hand length from my window And he wills for it to shine upon us all Stand or fall in this ring a ring of rosies But darling, I don't have a pocket full of posies Just a tissue And these deaths we've lived through So I claim to be as solid as the rock Is that why I cannot walk today? Oh Lord, is this all I have got? Cause this is not what I am made of And it's been troubling you It's been doubling up in you I find my head and my head Find my heart beat I find my head and my head Find my heart beat I find my head Find my heart beat I find my head and my head Find my heart beat It's like storyboards for little kids You wanna be one again No pain, no suffering No catastrophes, no anomalies You're just a pretty cat with no ears It's that find a flesh in your hall it asks some serious questions of us all as we forfeit this love you built the world can you patch me my heart beat I find my 
Right on. That was Officer with My Darling Defibrillator. Now, that album came off was about probably about two years old, but it's a great tune. I love the song, and I can't wait to hear more new stuff from them. I'm not sure what's going on right now, but that was a great tune. I love the mix. The vocals were awesome and just like, like, really, very catchy. I absolutely love that. That was really, really cool. It just had that kind of uh, uh, epic quality. It's another one of those bands that reminds me of Elbow and stuff like that. It's just got that kind of um, <clears throat> anthemic kind of thing going on, which is wicked. Uh, but yeah, the you know top, top quality. Really, really enjoyed listening to that. It was a fantastic tune. Um, and I love the, 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 just the scape of sound. Do you know what I mean? Like it was right. massive. Great. Absolutely brilliant. Right on. Well, the last uh, song for part one tonight, our last of the Arch Connection here, is a band called Analog Wave. They're working on new stuff right now. This one is called Dead Cat Bounce. Dig this. Somehow I fell in and I'm drowning. Need to get some control. I need to get out of here. This place is caving in on me Be between the lines and make it better It's getting hard, I need it more than ever And I gotta leave So try not to bend on me Ooh, it's days like these When it all comes down and I scream out loud, I believe it. So hard to get out of this darkness, faces circle my soul. I Caving in on me Out of phase with reality Playing games with my sanity Screaming let me what I need But what I need is here with me Ooh, it's days like these When it all comes down I scream out loud, I believe it. It's days like these when it all comes down. I scream out loud.
I'm doing fine. I'm taking care of All right. Um, here. Well, surprise, we're back on air, guys. So um, John Mason joined us really quick at the end of part one. So uh, happy birthday to you, John. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to yeah. you. <laughs> That's all we get. But happy birthday, man. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm doing really fine. I'm a bit tired here, but I'm letting my wife get some sleep. So I'm carrying around on, on Alma. We can see, baby Alma. How old is Alma now? She's two and a half. Two and a half two, months, there is. Two and a half months, yeah. I was going to yeah. say, she's not two and a half years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, she's, she's adorable, yeah. John. Thank you very much. She's great. So, Mike, <laughs> Mike, we'll give you about five minutes. Ask your questions right now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> John, I didn't get a chance to chat to you the other week, but I just wanted to say, well, first of all, happy birthday. But I wanted to say, I love, I love, I love your EP. I think it's fantastic. It's really, really well done. Um, listen, for the benefit of, of people that, you know, perhaps haven't heard it or have tuned into the show for the first time, like, what, how would you describe this, this latest uh, venture that you've, you've been involved in? Uh... I always just say I'm doing some kind of indie rock folks kind of stuff, but people have been telling me that it sounds like green pop or psychedelica, mm. and uh, and uh, for some reason a lot of people liking psychedelica likes this EP as well. Uh, so I would say it's it's indie folk with psychedelic and uh, and punk influences. Nice, nice. I like that. Do you want to give Monster plug, uh, Monster Thread a quick plug? Yeah, uh, I think that everyone that's uh, get, getting played on on NMS should join the Monster Thread as well. Especially if you're if you're trying to get uh, a fan base on Spotify, it's a really good way to get uh, heard by other artists. And also, there are some uh, folks like you guys uh, that also works on radio and bloggers that are in the community. So it's a really really great way to to meet new people. It's amazing, man. You've done such a fantastic job growing that from a, from a giant Twitter thread into a whole group of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very <laughs> was, was a monster indeed. I just got uh, got blocked from Twitter because I've been following too many people. No. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate those guys. And Facebook, <laughs> like every time I, I try to post a, a link to, to Musicoin or some kind of independent service, they mark my comments as uh, spam. So it's like they are scared of the of the development. Right. <laughs> Fuck you, Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alma. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I think she. I, I think she will le learn to curse quite. Yeah. Soon, quite soon. You, you'd be surprised, man. Yeah. I've, I've heard my, my William six now, but I've heard him say some stuff that like I've realised he can only have learned from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's a part of the language. That's right. Yeah, as long as he doesn't stay at school or around other school parents, it's well, fine. That's right. Eh? <laughs> we, we, we've kind of had a thing where we've said, like, if you really hurt yourself, it's okay to say shit. <laughs> that's kind of it. <laughs> but then he pushes the boundaries. So every now and again, he'd be like, bloody hell. I'm like, I think that's swearing, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> It's all good. So how old are you today, man, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'm uh, 32. You need to think about that. Yeah, I actually didn't even realise it was my birthday until until yesterday. Uh, oh, fuck, it's, uh, it's St. Patrick's Day today, so oh, tomorrow is my, it's my birthday. <laughs> That's what happens, man. That's what happens. You have kids and your whole life turns upside down. Yeah, definitely. Is it? But it do, it does it does get a lot easier. Like you will have noticed after probably six seven weeks, and it got a little bit easier after yeah, six but, months. Six yeah, months. but I think I think it's awesome already now. Like I can be uh, with her in this baby carrier for forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I have her here. I'm been sitting at the computer listening to NMS, doing some promotion work. Uh, some tweeting until I got <laughs> until I got <laughs> fucking blocked from. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. Well, six weeks, six months, and then a year—they're the big milestones from from memory. Uh, they're the yeah. ones where you notice it all gets a bit easier. But she's a gorgeous girl, so congrats.